really the definition of the Renaissance man, as we'd put it today, is somebody who's incredibly well-rounded. Um, during the Renaissance, they used the term virtue, which meant somebody who demonstrated their powers and the fulfillment of human capabilities in everything that they did, that they were exceptional at any number of endeavors and um, therefore demonstrated uh, an inspiring level of human capabilities. The kind of poster person, uh, the standard of the Renaissance man was Leonardo da Vinci. Um, da Vinci was an individual who was incredibly multi-talented and demonstrated human capabilities in everything he did. He was, he was an inspiration. He was like something to, he, to be aspired towards um, because he seemed so in command and to fulfill human potential to such a great degree. One thing that was impressive about da Vinci is he, he didn't take the natural world as it's been handed by human beings. He was always looking under the surface of the natural world uh, and not accepting it. He believed that human beings could understand more about the natural world in order to accomplish great things. He wasn't exactly... A scientist. You wouldn't call da Vinci a, a scientist, but he sought to better understand and control and almost like manipulate the natural world in order to further empower human beings, in order to um, further human achievement. So one example is he took apart a lot of cadavers, dead bodies, to better understand the human body. And then he applied this understanding of the natural world towards greater realism in his art. And that's where you see figures like the Mona Lisa because da Vinci understood the human body from the inside out and therefore was able to more realistically depict uh, the human form in his artwork. And you can see um, da Vinci's incredible artistic abilities. Da Vinci applied a mathematical understandings to incorporate geometric perspective uh, in order to um, bring people uh, closer to God through feeling like um, the biblical scene here of the Last Supper uh, was in a more, a more realistic form of greater depth and realism in not taking the physical world for granted, um, da Vinci also drew up some early notions of flying machines. And here you have kind of like an early helicopter type uh, prototype. So here you have a human being who's um, trying to master the physical environment to a greater and greater degree. And therefore, there's this notion that human beings, when they fulfill more and more of their creative and intellectual potential can be more and more in control of, of their environment and of their destiny. Uh, here's an underwater um, breathing or diving apparatus that um, da Vinci um, developed. So to recap, da Vinci is kind of the standard of the Renaissance man and that's because it was believed that da Vinci, through his uh, questioning and uncovering of the natural world and um, challenging the limitations of the natural world, was an individual who shaped his own destiny to greater and greater degrees, was not at the same uh, will and whim of fortune, but was proactively putting himself more in control because of his... Uh, capabilities and endeavors. And that's what made him the standard of the Renaissance man and his broad-based talents, of course, as well.